Hey everybody, this is Bray's Ways. Today I'm going to show you how I made the cute sprinkles or little crunchies as I call them that can go around your cakes or your little macaroons. You can use them on anything, on your faux candies, on your, um, you know, all your faux goodies that go on a stick, you know. And I wanted to show you how I did it. I take one of these empty containers that I like to save from the potato salads and stuff that we buy at the market. And all you need is the pet bedding of your choice, whatever pet bedding you like. It, the stuff that makes things look like they're netty. And all I do is I put it, put as much as I want in my container that I want to color up. And then I just add my favorite paint. In this case, I'm going to be using the Mountain Blue of the uh, Apple Barrel Acrylics. I always use acrylic paints because that's what I use to paint my art pieces with. So I always have art paint, uh, 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 acrylic paints handy, you know. So you put in as much of the paints as you feel you need to make it as more thoroughly painted as possible. Then you just seal your container and you just go crazy please excuse the noise as I shake this container up for a little bit and then I'll show you what I do with it okay want to be able to incorporate the paint into your pet bedding and it comes out like that and you basically just keep on adding the paint that you need to get the, uh, the brightness or the darkness that you want out of it then on a piece of wax paper I just sprinkle it out I get it get it all out of there and then I just spread it by hand and this stuff dries fairly fast it is acrylic paint and that is one of the reasons why I love painting with acrylics they are super fast to dry and then you just let it dry for about an hour or two you can always come back and check it just by basically just touching it. See, right now, it's a little on the wet side, but I can already feel that it's starting to dry. And if you put a fan to it, that'll help dry it too. And that's basically it. You just let it dry, and then you just put it back into the same container that you took it out of in the first place, and just stash it, because eventually this stuff will dry. And here I had the chocolate chips that I made, all ready to go for another project and I made red as well for my red wine and blue projects that I might be doing later on and all you need is your favorite um, corn bedding that I use the Sunseed brand but there's so many brands out there now this stuff is not cheap I mean it does cost quite a bit I mean so you know when you buy it you know Use it wisely, you know, but this stuff will work wonders. It, it's wonderful on cakes, let me tell you, and on the cute little macaroons. It's adorable. It adds another touch, another layer of color and fun to your macaroons. So that's why I use it on that. So I hope that I got to help you do something cute and cool for your next faux projects that you can come up with and I hope that you have fun with it and and keep on creating so until next time this is Bray's Ways don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and hit that little bell so that you'll know when my next video is coming up okay and as usual thank you so much I appreciate all the subscribers that I have so far and please let others know 
that might be interested in my channel. Spread the word, okay? Well, thanks a lot. Thank you for your time. And until next time, bye-bye.